Hi everyone and welcome back to Gorge River. Now it is springtime here and mum has been busy planting the garden and getting it ready for the summer of growth. And I, today I'm going to join her. She's going to explain us what she's doing and also show us what is left in the garden after a long cold winter. Springtime now, so most of what we have is going to seed. So this is one of our own seed stock of silver beet that they just keep coming up seeding themselves. They're reasonably disease resistant, although not totally this year. And sometimes they're just huge leaves. This is a patch where I left one seeding last year and they're coming up now by themselves. These always last way better than the things that I get from the shop and plant inside. This the silver beet plants. Still the week that we've had right through the winter, we don't get a lot of frost here. Even the frost that we do get is not enough to finish off, off the garden as it would be if you're further inland. That's a real bonus. So we always have greens to eat and salad right through the year. The cabbages are going to seed now but they didn't really do much. They're actually a lot bigger now than they were before. We never got a cabbage out of that lot. a bucket of shells that I'll put in the fire because it rains so much the soil is very acid here so if we burn the shells in the fire it makes lime it makes things go most things really like a bit of lime this time of the year but I'll just wait till the fire is going better before I put them in full kelp washes up on the beach and I bring it up and put it on the garden other forms of seaweed as well we used to spend days and days and days carrying as much seaweed as we could when it washed up in huge piles on the beach. These days it's further away and it's just too far to carry it. But meanwhile we have a lot of possum carcasses to bury which has made the difference. And then on top of that I've sprinkled ashes that I've dug out of the fire. It's all driftwood so it's clean wood. Everything goes back on the garden. The only rubbish we have to send out of here is a bit of plastic and a bit of metal sort of stuff. We bury all the fish frames and dead possums. Without a lot of seaweed rains a lot here so anything that you put into the garden washes out quite quickly. Really a garden is all about what you put in you get back. You get way more back than you do, usually you do, than you have to put in but you've got to keep doing it. All that compost goes into the ground. By the end of the winter we're still eating carrots. They're starting to go to seed now. We've still got quite a few left. That one won't be very nice. We have root crops and, and greens right through the winter. Just 
I have a pot of cooked potato scraps here which I will feed to the worms. This is tiger worm compost. This is a tiger worm. These guys like to live together in one place, whereas earthworms will take the food and take it away. So these are better when you want to concentrate them in a compost bin. This is a year's worth, so this is the time of year when I pick through it and keep taking the top off and the worms work their way down. And then I will put this last year's lot on the garden and they will go down into the next layer and start again. Since we've had these guys, we've been able to grow beetroot. All the potato scraps and anything that would sprout it gets, gets boiled and then fed back to the worms and they just love it. Especially through the winter, that's what they tend to live on. Put a few carrots in there too at the moment, because they're going to seed. of the seeds I've started off inside, silver beet, beetroot and tomatoes and it gives them a head start and I'll plant them out when they're big enough but I've been getting pretty close now. It means I could start about a month earlier than I would want to be planting them outside. This, is, this one's silver beet and the red beet beetroot and tomatoes. We'll put up a greenhouse for the tomatoes and we won't really get anything off them until just about February really. The birds get into the newly planted places and dig everything up again so it's handy to put a cage over until they get taken off, until they take off. house going through the winter for salad and it gives you a big head start in the springtime too when everything's coming up but it's not big enough to eat yet. This is a mesclun salad mix. Daffodils are out, that means it's nearly Kristen's birthday. And one nasturtium. Awesome, thank you very much mum. Hope you enjoyed this video about our garden and growing things here in a quite a harsh environment at Gorge River in South Westland. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe to help out this channel. And until next time, good night, good day and good morning wherever you are in the world. Sunset! <laughs>